Hi everyone, this is the third video in the series of integration and in this video I'm going to focus on OAuth. In this video I will show you how we can uh, use Postman tool to verify our OAuth configuration, how do we receive a token and how do we use that token to create a record for example an incident record in the service now application. So consider Postman here as application A and service now as application B and when postman creates an incident in service now instance uh, that means that a communication is happening between the two so let's see how we can accomplish this task first of all i'm going to hop to my application registry and i'll create a new OAuth api endpoint for this particular demo let's say the name of this application registry is demo underscore end this is the refresh token lifespan by default provided by service now of 86 lakh 40 thousand and this is the access token lifespan of 1800 and i'm going to leave the client secret empty so that service now generates it automatically and now I'll simply jump onto the postman tool where the request type is by default selected as post by me so that I could save some time and this is my instance URL and I've appended OAuth underscore token dot do in front of the URL itself and this is the body where I'm going to ask key value pairs first one is the grant type as part of this demo I'm going to use grant type as password then I need username password combinations so let's just go to the user table and create a user I'm going to use the same username and password simply for this demo but that is not at all recommended so make sure you guys are using a strict password policy This is the username and this is the password. Now I need client ID from my application registry and I can simply copy it from here. Then I need client secret. So if I click on send now, Postman will interact with service now and give me an access token and a refresh token back okay let's go to the body tab so here i have my access token as well as refresh token so when the communication begins for the very first time uh, we can simply use the combination of username and password and as long as the refresh token is valid we can uh, use that refresh token to generate an access token again let's see how we can do that so I will copy this refresh token and I am going to uncheck username and password and my grant type would be refresh token and I am going to add another parameter over here Here I'm going to pass my refresh token and if I click on send again I can still get an access token which can be used in the further communications that will happen but since I simply clicked on the send button within a few seconds um, it could still be the same and it will generate a new one whenever you plan to interact with the application in the subsequent calls so now let's see how I can use this access token to create an incident in the service now instance I'll copy the 
access token over here and I will jump to the new tab where I have already mentioned the URL of table API for incident table and I am going to write some JSON data over here short description let's keep it short and sweet watch demo and here in the header I am going to pass authorization as bill then my access token if I click on send an incident should be created in the service now instance and here it is this is my incident number let's see if this is an actual incident or not yes it is so the incident record is created and the short description is also populated so this is how we can use our OAuth configuration between multiple different applications and we can test it out via Postman whether it is actually working fine or not in the upcoming videos we'll also see some sample use cases for this mostly between two service now instances how we can use this OAuth configuration and generate the token and create incidents and so on so this is pretty much it for this video Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.